Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have the largest Mac haul ever. Like this is the most I've ever purchased at Mac in one time. And it is a little crazy, it's a little obsessive. But there were a lot of things I wanted to try. I've been doing a ton of shopping lately. I need to get the shopping itch out of me. And I think by now it's pretty much almost out. <laughs> I just, there's just so many things I've been wanting to try. And you know, those darn tax returns. This is just what happens. So anyways, let's roll into this because this is going to be a very long haul. So if you want to pause me, get some coffee, maybe some wine, some chocolate, something fabulous, pen and paper perhaps, because you're going to see some things in here I'm guaranteeing you you're going to want to buy. And um, yeah, let's roll into this. First things first was a replenishment, uh, Max Fix Plus. Um, I use this pretty much every single day at this point. I love it. I love what it does to my skin. I love what it does to my makeup. I just think it makes me look dewy and it gets rid of the powdery look. So uh, if you've never tried this, I would definitely recommend trying it. Um, it's a very multi-purpose product. So MAC Fix Plus, I was almost out and I cannot be without that. Um, next in here, I'm going to, let's see. I got a lot of eyeshadows. I pretty much bought a little bit of everything. Let's let's move on into eyes here. Um, this is a eye coal. I've never tried any eye coals from Mac. I've seen people talk about them and use them, but I've just never never thought about it. Um, but I wanted to get the color Costa Riche. It's like a warm, really pretty chocolatey brown color. And I thought that I really like to do a chocolate brown on my eyes um, when I'm not feeling black because it still gives the definition and kind of like a smoky look, but it's not as harsh. And in the summertime, I, for some reason, like to wear more browns. And I think it's because it's hotter out and your skin has a little bit more warmth to it. And I just love brown. So Costa Reach Eye Coal by MAC. I guess we're not going in order because the truth is this is I'm just I'm just digging. Um, and next is um, I went lipstick crazy at the Mac counter. I just was swatching and swatching them. There's so many I wanted to try. I really like Mac lipsticks. They offer several different formulas, and so I just it's just a great place to find a shade you probably don't have because they have so many shades and they have shades in between shades if you know what I mean. So there's like this shade is too dark and this one's too light. There's probably something in between. Um, the first one I got here is Viva Glam 2, Ugh, if I can get it out, um, looks like this. I'm really into these uh, darker nudes. This is a satin formula, which is one of my favorite formulas because it's more opaque. Um, and so here's Viva Glam 2. I just love these, um, I guess it's not super dark, it's just kind of like a peachy nude color. And it, that's kind of my go-to. I just like, when I do a warmer eye, I like to pair it with a peachy nude. So, especially a warm smoky eye. The other one I have here um, is called Fanfare, and this is a cream sheen, so it's an easy summer formula. I thought the color was really pretty, and in the summertime, I thought this would be a really comfortable thing just to kind of throw on, throw it in your purse, you're on the go. Sorry, my hair is tickling my neck. Um, oh, it's so pretty. It's, it's a very shiny formula, but oh, it's so pretty. It's like a corally pink kind of color, and you know... Me and my corals, and most recently pinks, are really good friends. Um, okay, before I show you that, I have a couple more lipsticks in here I wanted to show you. Um, this one is called Shanghai Spice. And this one also swatched absolutely beautifully. I did not try these on, but I'm thinking they're going to look good. This is also a cream sheen. Looks like so. Uh, I think it's a little lighter. Yes, it's lighter than Fanfare and more peachy. So that's Shanghai Spice. Oh, isn't that pretty? I was thinking like uh, a peachy nude lip liner and just throw this on top. It's going to give you that glossy effect. Just kind of like full pouty lips without, you know, really dark opaque lipstick. Just really simple is what I was thinking. Um, because sometimes you just need to keep things simple. And what is this? Oh, <laughs> I don't even remember what I purchased. Um, this is a MAC Luster Glass. I've never tried any of these. So this is my first luster glass and the shade I got is love nectar so the lady that I was talking to which just reminds me they were out of the one lipstick shade um, and they were gonna ship it to me and I just realized she hasn't called me yet and that is max brick um, brick -o law actually that's the one I went in there for and they didn't have it of course so she said she was gonna ship it to me but she hasn't called me so hopefully she does oh this is really pretty um, it looks like this she said this is one of her favorites because it's just a great topper Especially if you wear a lot of nudes or peachy nudes. It's like this nude color with a little bit of, uh, oh yes. See, I wasn't really paying attention. I was so 
like looking over everything and she's like swatching stuff and I'm swatching stuff and I'm telling her oh just yeah grab that okay yeah grab that I was probably her favorite customer that day <laughs> guaranteed I'm probably most people's favorite customer just because I'm I know, usually know what I want but I'm also easily convinced to try other things or to add to my order it's yeah anyways so there it is that's really pretty I think this even by itself on your lips is just one of those really soft and pretty colors um, and then this um, is a Dazzle Glass. I've never tried any Dazzle Glasses. And I picked up the color Smile because this caught my eye in the store big time. <laughs> I actually wore this over um, an orange, a matte orange lipstick and it was stunning. I think I, I have a picture of it on my Instagram if you're interested. Um, ugh, so it looks like this. I'm not sure how I feel about these applicators, but the product is so pretty just summer with sparkle and sheen and just gorgeous that over fanfare yeah that's gonna be gorgeous so ooh, fun i might get addicted to these lip glosses because i like i like their lip glosses i like a formula like buxom is my all-time favorite formula i like oh no there's an airplane going over i like the what was i saying i the airplane just totally Oh, the formula of Buxom. I like it because it's minty. I feel like it plumps my lips. I feel like it almost creates a border for my lipstick to stay in place. Does that make any sense? I think I just talked myself into looking at the Buxom lip glosses because I'm going out with my friend today. Um, okay, and then a, another lip product here is, um, oh, <laughs> I forgot I got this too. Uh, this is their matte lipstick in the shade Russian Red. This is just your classic, classic red shade. But, oh, so beautiful. Let me swatch it for you. Yeah, this is like your classic darker red shade. Like, I don't know why I feel the need to have so many reds. But I just, I love me in a red lip. Like, I was asking my husband the other night. I said, so, what look do you like on me the best? And he said, I like you in red lips. I like you in dark lipstick. And I like you in, like, this kind of color where it's kind of like a peachy nude. Um, which gave me a lot of options <laughs> and, then I, and then I proceed to tell him oh well I don't have this kind of shade or this kind of shade could I go and buy them and he's like really <laughs> you know um, a couple brushes I picked up I don't have um, I wanted a flat definer brush like this to really uh, wiggle eyeshadow into my lower lash line so this is max uh, 212 so it's just a stiff flat definer brush really works well to wiggle um, not just wiggle, but you know, get eyeshadow on your lower lash line or even your top. And then this brush, which is, let's see, I still got the plastic thing on it here, a MAC 286 brush. And the only other duo fiber brush that I have like this is by uh, Real Techniques, but it's really scratchy, so I don't reach for it too much. I do like to use it to apply, um, you know, a really uh dark deep color in my outer v area here but this one's really really scratchy and this one's not so yeah so i wanted to get something to kind of replace that essentially i wanted a concealer that i could use to spot conceal like imperfections on my face or to carve out my eyebrows and so i picked up the studio finish concealer spf 35 i got the shade nw20 i ordered this online so i I went with the same shade as I have for my concealer, and it looks like this. Um, it might be a little bit light for me in the summer, but I think it'll be okay because even when you're carving out your brows, you still are kind of using a lighter shade to highlight. So that's what it looks like. It's just really creamy and a cute little pot like so. And then I went over to the eyeshadows. And, man, those colors, like, all together like that just suck you in. But I feel like all the colors that I bought are perfect summery type colors. So the first one I got is a brulee which is just a matte cream shade and I went with this over uh, blank type because I thought that the formula was creamier and smoother and it just seemed to glide on better so that's brulee it's just a matte staple cream shade and I actually don't have any matte cream shades that I'm in love with and I do like that formula um, it feels really nice then I got rice paper I don't remember who I was watching but they said they use this one all the time I think it was uh, Ms. Gold Girl Marnie um, she w puts this on her lid I think it's a really soft, creamy color with a little bit of a sheen to it. It's really soft. 
um, not too intense. So if you have older eyelids and you want a lighter shade to put on that's not too shimmery or anything, definitely check out Rice Paper because it's a really softly uh, sheen, soft sheen, you know what I mean? Um, and then Sobo. Uh, Sobo is a shade that uh, at first I just was, you know, swatching I'm like, oh, this isn't that awesome. But it's like this golden brown color that's really, really cool. And Kristen from Beauty Moxie loves the shade. So I decided to take her recommendation and pick this up. The other one I got, because I think they're actually uh, reformulating the Pro Longwear shade. So if you can get your hands on any before uh, they get reformulated, I would do that. Um, this is the shade Always Sunny. I just thought this not only is a huge shadow, but it's going to be a great crease shade in the summer for those bronzy, simple, but pretty. It's like a peachy, it's like a peachy color. My swatching abilities here are failing me. It's like a peachy color, just like a matte, really gorgeous color. And look how much sh shadow you get. Like, you get a lot of shadow. Let me grab a baby wipe here. And then the, these next, um, one, two, three, uh, seven shadows, I bought at the store um, because... They just were catching my eye, and I wanted to buy some things I don't have at all, like things that are complete and utterly different. For some reason, I just felt the need to clean up my table. This is just how I roll. <laughs> um, I, and, and looking at all these colors, they go really well together. So this would create a really pretty little palette. So the first one, oh, is called Gleam. You see that? See the gleam? Oh, it's so, so pretty. And I think this is a lust or something. Because it looks like it. It looks like it. I don't have any... Oh, oh, I'm so happy with that. Uh. Wow, I'm really happy with that one. Let's see. There, make sure to get all the angles of it here. Wow. Gleam. Check her out. She is stunning. Wow, I'm so happy with that one. See, what happens is when you start swatching all these and you're happy with the ones you got, you think, but what if there's even better ones out there? So then your mind's like, oh, I want to go get more. <sighs> Why do I think like that? Um, Night Divine. This is a grayish, bluish color, and I thought actually this paired with Gleam would be stunning. It's like, oh, it's so pretty. It's a grayish, bluish, iridescent -y color. Stunning. So then I thought, well, if I'm going to do a blue eye look, I need some more blue shadows. So I picked up Deep Truth, which is, oh, just a stunning, stunning shade of blue. Yes, it's just a little bit brighter. It still has that kind of iridescence to it, but it's a little bit brighter than Night Divine. Look how pretty that's going to be for just, oh, even to pop some color in your lower lash line. Ugh. Mm, this color, I've never heard of this color. It's called Moon's Reflection. And I thought this was such a unique, really pretty color. Um, because if I'm going to wear blue eyeshadows, I like to keep them on the cooler side, like kind of almost reflective, because otherwise, if it's too... Some teals just don't really look good on me. Um, but this kind of color does, and so this is Moon's Reflection. It's like a cornflower blue. It reminds me of cornflower blue, like, you know, in the Crayola Crayon Box. Oh my gosh. Wow, I love that color. Okay, that's stunning. And then I picked up some staple, for sure, summer colors. The first one is called Bronze. And I didn't think I needed this one, and then I swatched it, and I decided, yeah, I think I'm going to need that one. Oh, it's super pretty. That's Bronze. I love Max eyeshadows, seriously. Like, out of all of my eyeshadows, I find these blend at the top, if not the top. There's just something about them. They're just... I don't know. I love them. Um, and this one's called Tempting. I thought this would pair really well with the bronze. Or, oh yes, Tempting. Do you see how the bronzes and the blues, they just complement each other? And the last one I thought was discontinued, but then they had it in the store, so maybe it's not. It's called Kid. It's a matte, uh, mid-tone type brown shade. Let's see, I don't really have any swatchy fingers left here. Looks like that. It's really nice. It's like a, one of those great crease shades. Right there, kid. I love it. 
that's gonna do it guys that is everything <laughs> the very long haul of all the things that I got maybe you found something that you want to pick up because I know whenever I watch a Mac haul I always find something that I need um, so I can't wait to start using all these things in some tutorials so thumbs up, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed yourself if you would like me to do some sort of a tutorial using these Mac products I can definitely put something together for you guys I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll chit chat with you soon bye